Hello, pre-calculus class. This is Mr. McAllen, and today we're going to work on plotting data and finding a trig function from the data. So, this is a repeat of what we did in class today, in case those of you didn't have a chance to copy it all down. And the first thing we have to do is when we are given data is we have to plot it. So what I'm going to do is I'll pause the video as I plot it, and then we'll look at the points afterwards, just so it saves time. Okay, well, I've plotted the data, and as you can see, I got ahead of myself here, but um, we have the data plotted and it makes a nice sine wave and I need to draw, the first step is we need to draw the midline which is our D value and that's pretty easy from looking at the data so and there I have my line at about 7 let me try, I think in class we showed that it was about 7.5 and that looks like a pretty good midline so we'll write D equals 7.5 now we need to figure out our amplitude and the amplitude is just the amount from the top so the amplitude is 2.5 the next thing we do is we figure out our remember I'm going to list out the components we need A, B, C, D for the sine function A sine of BX plus C plus D. So we're going to list out our A, B, C, and D values and then we're going to list out what our phase shift is and our period. So remember how this works. The A value is easy to find. That's just 2.5. The D value is easy to find. That's 7.5 when we plot the data. B and C are values that we have to get from equations. The phase shift is the starting point. The period is the duration to the end point. So when we look at the graph, our starting point is at 10, our ending point is at 43 about, and that means our period, because our period has got to be the time duration in between, that's going to be about 33. Using that information, we use, we know that the period is equal to 2 pi over the frequency value, and we're going to just calculate um, we're going to substitute in 33 for the period, put 2 pi over b, and when we cross multiply, b will equal 2 pi over 33 units. So, now that we have the b value, 2 pi over 33, we can go on and calculate the c value. So remember our equation for phase shift. It's the only other equation we know, or we worked with, which is equal to negative c over b. So my phase shift that I found from the graph is 10, and that's equal to negative c over the b value just calculated, which is 2 pi over 33. It looks like a really ugly number, but to calculate the c value, we would just multiply both sides by 2 pi over 33, and then this will result in our phase angle to be negative 20 pi over 33. The final answer, we well, had 2.5 times the sine of um, 2 pi over 33x plus, or rather the c value is minus, so this will be minus 20 pi over 33 plus 7.5. And there would be the trig function that would model that data for velocity versus time. I hope this video is of help and uh, please um, look at this video before you try the homework problems on the worksheet that I also posted up on the website. Have a good night.